Right now, give it up for my main man, Simon Chan. Yeah! Yeah! like sales. Right. I don't like to sell. Who asked this question? Don't like to sell. A lot of people ask. I don't like to sell. Okay. So there's two ways to do go about this. Um, the first way is to justify, a logical way, right? So just say I want to find out. So what your dream? Your dream is to buy the house for your mom, right? and also to buy a house for your kids, right? Buy a house. You have a nice house. Your dream. Have nice cars. So you don't like. I find out your dream, and uh, so let me see, how badly do you want, how badly do you want to, uh, to get the house for your mom? It's my dream. It's your dream, you want it. You really want that dream. So I know you don't, know, you don't like to sell, but would you be willing to learn how to sell for your mom? Sure. No, no, seriously, if you don't learn how to sell, what else could you do to get the house, get the house for your mom? What else could you do? What other options do you have? <laughs> okay, but will you be able to buy the house for your mom? No. no. How long would it take? So, if you really want it, is it worth it just to learn the sales? Sometimes, do you agree that sometimes in life we gotta do things we don't like to do, yeah. but for our own good? Yeah. Right? Have you had in the past, maybe we were in school or something, you had to do things you really didn't like, but and later on you, you appreciate, you were grateful that you did it? Absolutely. So, this is one of those things. You learned how to sell, you can get the house for your mom. Cool. But do you really wanna do that thing for your mom? Right? Yep. So again, emotion. Okay. Now, another thing I could explain to him, logical way, is like, when you say you don't like to sell, what do you mean by you don't like to sell? What do you mean that you don't like to sell? I don't like to ask people for money. Okay. Don't like to, so, do you realize that we are always, uh, let me ask you, have you ever watched a good movie or uh, a good restaurant and told your friends about it? Yeah, so that's basically what you, well, when you tell your friends about, are you selling? You're just communicating, right? You're commuting. Oh, your friends ask you to go, let's go out to dinner. All right, let's go hang out at this place. Let's go grab a couple of drinks tonight at this bar, right? Basically, they're asking, they're basically making you take your money. They're making you spend money, right? But you don't see it that way. You're just sharing. You like this place, let's go hang out. Oh, you can stay home and not use, save your money, putting the money in the bank. But you're just sharing. So what we do, like whether you, you know, tell your friends to spend money on a movie or going out, going out, you're basically sharing, recommend something you like. And so that's what we do. We just share and recommend. So you're doing it. So some, for example, someone, what did you, what did you have for dinner last night? Filet mignon with the lobster on the side. So you have filet mignon, serve and serve, right? So, so someone sold you on that. Why did you leave filet mignon and not sushi last night? Who sold you on that deal? Who sold you on that? Who sold you wearing a white T-shirt and not something black, not like a dress shirt? It was actually a gift. Okay, but who sold you? Who sold you on wearing that gift? Who convinced you to wear that gift? So you see what I'm saying? Everyone's com we're convincing, communicating. Sure. So in, in one way, we're all selling, right? I have to sell myself to my wife yeah. for her to marry me, right? Absolutely. So we're all some way. <laughs> we're all some way. We're convincing. We're, we're communicating. Right. So in this business, the same thing. We just use something we share. Now. When you say selling, there's two types of selling. There's the annoying way, right? We think about the used car salesman, right? Oh, go, go buy this. Thing. Like you said, you don't want you to ask your friends for money. Now, when I presented to you, did I ever do that to you? No. no. So, so you don't worry about that. You'll be doing exactly what I'm doing. All right? So if you did it a good way, you can always use that line. Did I, was I annoying? Did I push you? To, was I really pushy to you? Did I did you ever do that? The person will say that. So you'll be doing exactly what I'm doing. Because cool. remember, your prospect always duplicates their, your, their experience with you. Yeah. Right? Perfect. So if you're not annoying and pushy, you'll like, be doing exactly the same thing I am. Perfect. Right? Does it make sense to help? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So another thing is, some people want to make big money. Right? Maybe your friends want to make big money. So I would ask them, why do some people make big money and some people don't make big money? What does it take? Right? Or some people, like, some of you meet a prospect, they want to, uh, they want to have a business. I want to have a business. And 
So I'll ask them, what does it take, you know, what do you think it takes for them to be successful in business? Or what do you think it takes for them to make a lot of money? And so you get them talking and asking. So one of the best things, and people say they want to make big, you know, people say they want to make big money. I think, hey, if you want to make big money, the reality is you got to learn how to sell. Yep. Everyone who makes good big money, whether it's like Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, or Bill Gates, or in network marketing, or Helen Suman, we've all learned how to sell. Yep. If you don't want to learn to sell, then just shut up and go stick to your job. But don't complain about your job. You don't, don't complain about your boss or whatever. You don't like the way it is. But, but if you want to make big money and change, you must change and embrace selling because sales is where the money is made. Nice. Okay? So I would tell them directly like that. If they say, I want to make big money and give me excuses, I think you don't want to make big money. You just want to stick to your job because everyone make, make, makes big money and they sell. Do you tell me that you don't want to sell? You don't deserve big money. You just stay with your job. Stay with your job. Your job's probably good, but don't complain about it. Just accept that's, that's the rest of your life. So that's your choice. You want to make big money and learn to sell or stay at your job for the rest of your life? What do you want to do? And you say that confidently again. Right. Okay? You, they have to make a choice. Because that's the reality. I mean, that's why it's like I call it no hype selling. You got to sell. You got to sell. There's no like, you know, hiding around. It's communicating, whatever. But it's two ways to do it, a pushy way and like a, like a very open way. And as long as you've been very professional with them right, and really care about them, Right? You're not going to be pushy. Just say, like, have I been pushy, annoying to you? No. So you'll be doing exactly what I'm doing. It's not that hard. Right? You just do what I did to you. Makes a couple of phone calls, set up a couple of meetings. And remember, I told you how to invite. Right? I called Travis, how to invite. I asked him, did I? For example, I called Travis. I don't like to sell, but Travis, did I do any selling to you? I just called you to set up a meeting, phone call. Can you do what I did? You'll be doing exactly what I'm doing. Do you guys follow? Yep. Right? Okay.